What's up everybody? It's your girl Chinchilla here for another live episode of Cooking with Chinchilla. Um, I was really confused on what I wanted to cook tonight and I talked to one of my roommates last night and he was like, hmm, maybe you should make congri with tostones, which tostones are made from plantains that are fried. Um, but we're going to do it a little different today. We're going to do it uh, just how my grandma taught me how to do it. And the plantains, we're pretty much just going to slice them diagonally um, and then have some white rice and beans, which is congri, which is a kind of a Cuban dish um, to make it a little Tex-Mex, which y'all know, cookie with chinchilla. I love using anything that's Tex-Mex. So I'm going to add a little spice to it. And I'm going to be adding some mild rotel to the rice and bean mix that we're going to do. Um, I'm going to put this on like I do for every show. If it goes over my hat, let's see if it, it works. It probably is not gonna work, so we're gonna try this instead. There we go. All right, there's a new hat and a new shirt. I had to, I had to wear it for tonight's show. I did miss you guys last week. Um, <clears throat> I have some other projects going, so if Cooking with Chinchilla is every other week now, you guys now know why. Um, I do have other endeavors that I'm working on, and I, I gotta tell you, as rough as 2020 has been, um, it's been really nice that I have had a lot more time to work on my dreams and, you know, this cooking show and, and getting to be with you guys every week or every other week. Um, you know, I've taken a few weeks off here and there, um, but it's for the best and it's for other endeavors that I'm working on. But we are back and we are coming to the end of the year. So I figured, um, you know, when my roommate talked about congri and tostones, um, I thought it would be great for our show tonight here, Cooking with Chinchilla. And I am really, really late tonight. I almost, yes, but no, I'm really late tonight. Um, again, I do have other endeavors, but I didn't want to miss another week on hanging out with you guys um, and teaching you another dish. So again, we're going to be doing um, not tostones. It's kind of a Cuban dish. I want to say now it's more like a Southern dish, a Southern American dish because we're gonna do platanos the way my grandma did it from Guatemala. Um, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of spice to the congri, which is the right, white rice and the black beans, which is gonna make it a little Tex-Mex. Um, and then I do have a Cuban style pork that I slow roasted. And y'all are gonna love that. It, I don't know if y'all saw one of the episodes where I did um, the pork shoulder and I pulled the bone out and it was just perfectly cooked. Um, that's what we're going to be doing tonight for the protein for this meal on cooking with chinchilla But we're gonna get started and the first thing we're gonna do this is gonna be a really quick show because I actually pre-cooked the black beans So we have about two cups of black beans cooked in the water All we have to do is add the rotel which I added mild. I would usually add hot um, But a lot of a lot of you all have kids and probably don't like spicy um, that's where you have the little salsa bottles on your table and you can make it a little more spicier as you please. So um, we're going to get the black beans. We're going to add the rice here. Oh, and I do have lime since we do go over all the ingredients before every show. I do have some lime to kind of um, complement the tostones and the black beans the congri and everything that we're going to be making today. So let's put all the ingredients aside and start cutting up. We can't really cut the rice because it's already rice, so I don't know why I said that, but yeah. Oh, got this. I added about two cups of black beans, so for, that was very loud. Um, so for the rice, I'm gonna do about a third of a cup. Not a third, let's do, let's do half a cup. I think that should suffice for about two cups of black beans open this up. I actually got a really good deal on this rice, which I'm excited about. I don't even know. Golden Star is the brand, but I figured like rice is like kind of overall the same everywhere you go if it's long white grain. So we're going to add this. We're going to make sure that the water is boiling. Let's do actually not half a cup for two cups of black beans. Let's do about one cup of white rice. Very simple, that's a congri. It's really just salt, pepper, a little bit of cumin, um, a little bit of garlic powder, paprika. If you like chili powder, you can add that in there. 
um, and I'm also going to add a little bit of mild Rotel just to give it that little Tex-Mex kind of twang to it. So let's open that up. Y'all like the little holiday decor? I don't know who's watching. Freddie, hello. Freddie, uh, Freddie, we are making tostones. Well, it's going to be Guatemalan style with the fried plantains, white and rice con gris, uh, white and rice, white rice with black beans. You see, this is why I shouldn't take a week off is because I start getting confused, even in my own kitchen. Um, but we are doing uh, fried plantains with con gris, which is white rice and black beans. I'm going to add a little spice to it by adding the rotel. Um, and I have some slow cooked Cuban style ribs back here with my kind of seasonings. And if you do guys uh, want to know all the recipe, all the recipes, anything else, go to my YouTube. You can catch me on Instagram. And after the live show, I usually post the entire recipe of every meal that I'm cooking. Um, so you don't miss out on these amazing meals that we are cooking here on Cooking with Chinchillas. So let's open this up. One of the key things that you want to make sure when you are cooking rice is always bring it to a boil, okay? The one rule with rice is for every cup of rice, you do two cups of water. So double the, double the liquid, season it well. So for the congri, I added um, 10 ounces of rotel. I did two cups of black beans and I did one cup of white rice. We're gonna bring this to a boil and then we are going to slow cook it on a low simmer after it's boiled. There we go. Perfect. And that was literally the hardest part of the entire meal. Everything else is gonna be super easy, super simple and super flavorful. Who else is watching? Hello, Nathaniel, Yvette, um, Kaylin. Hey, whoa, no spiders in this meal. Hopefully uh, they haven't snuck into your coffee either because that was crunchy. I still, I can feel the crunch right now. So I'm gonna get one last ingredient that we need for this meal. Um, you can add salsa or you can add this, but I'm gonna grab it real quick. The last ingredient that we're going to be doing for this congri uh, fried plantains and the slow cooked pork ribs. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, but you got to have your sour cream. Um, I feel like more of the Tex Mex Mexican culture does a lot more of the spicy kind of foods and spicy cooking. Um, but here today, we're going to integrate a little bit of the mild sour cream and um, the mild, more salsa side of things. Again, this is your cooking. This is just my suggesting on how it should be cooked and how I like it and how I was raised with it. Um, and then kind of putting my spin on it. So we are going to just cut the plantain in half. And what you want to do is just peel it up. It's similar to a banana, a plantain, a Southern American plantain is what we're using. Um, but it's going to be a little more rougher and a different taste to it. With bananas, it's usually mushy, soft, and sweet. With the plantain, it's gonna be more of a subtle taste, um, but usually how Southern Americans and chefs worldwide cook it, from my experience, is really just kind of frying them or making them into tostones. Today, we're gonna to do it like my grandma taught me from Guatemala, um, and just kind of slice them up pretty thinly um, and fry them here on the frying pan. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be using regular corn oil. Um, I usually use sunflower oil. I couldn't find it. It was around uh, Thanksgiving that I went and bought oil um, and I couldn't find it. So if you watch Cooking with Chinchilla frequently, I love to use pink Himalayan salt, one of my vital, vital things on salt. Um, I use California uh, extra virgin olive oil and sunflower oil. But today we're gonna just be simple and do it this way. Uh, we have Charmaine. Hello, Charmaine. How are you? Catherine, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just, it's, it's a new little hat, so I had to wear it for the show today. Um, who else is watching? Nope. I always check. Yes, Kaylin, please. 
you don't want no crunching spiders anymore. All right, so there, there it is. Whoop, bloop. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of oil here. <clears throat> Super simple. You're just gonna kind of drizzle it. You don't want it to be too much oil. You're just gonna drizzle it into the pan as you can see here. And this is how we're gonna fry our plantains. And again, back to the congri, which is the white rice and the black beans with the added spice of the mixed rotel here, which is mild because not everybody on your guest list is gonna want something uh, that's too spicy. They can add that on their own. So we have this boiling. Now that it's boiling, uh, the white rice and the black beans, I'm going to bring it down to a simmer and not touch it for the rest of the show. So when I do serve myself a plate, it's perfect and it's ready to go. So we're gonna peel the rest of this plantain here. Pretty simple. And where is everyone watching from? I know some of you all, Kaylin, I know you're watching from Colorado. Uh, Charmaine, you're watching from Garland, Texas. Uh, Nicole, how are you cousin? How's the baby? I'm so in love with your baby. Oh my goodness, you and Damien. Make some pretty babies, so hopefully I'll have some more. Who else is watching? Catherine, I've been wanting to make, it's pretty simple too. So I will have the full recipe of what I'm making on the live video after this. I know the last show we made Buñuelos and I still haven't posted the recipe. I've gotten a little busy since then, but I promise you all that it will happen. And after this show, give me about five minutes. Super simple recipe, super flavorful, super cheap. Under 20 bucks, you're gonna feed about seven to a dozen plates, dependent on the appetite, obviously. Um, but if you are single or just live with roommates, this is something great that you can make for the week. Under 20 bucks, especially during 2020, during this whole COVID um, thing, you know, it's it's been really tough on jobs and people on unemployment and whatnot. So hopefully, cooking with chinchilla has helped you all kind of boost your bank account on uh, kind of saving money and, and and still eating good, you know? So so what we're doing is we're gonna cut the plantains. Watch your fingers because um, actually at work, I am a chef and uh, I've, been, I've been kind of mocked a little bit because I kind of cut myself a lot now and I well deserve it because when you are dealing with knives in the kitchen, you have to be very careful. So. Let's cut these, and as you can see, I'm just kind of cutting them at a diagonal, which is how my grandma did it. There we go. You wanna cut them smaller, you wanna cut them bigger, that's up to you. This is just how I'm doing it for the congri and the kind of the Cuban dish that we're doing tonight. And I wanna show you all, this is not hot, so that's perfect. This is, I get really excited when I do this, so. Please bear with my excitement. So I made some ribs. I did about, I wanna say like five pounds of ribs and pork. And my favorite thing of slow cooking pork is the way you know you cooked it right and it's just gonna be like butter melting in your mouth is when you can pull one of these bones out and it's literally just the bone. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me know if you can or not but you start pulling out the bone. Ah, so excited. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but when they say when you take a bite out of a steak and it's just like butter in your mouth, this is exactly how it is when you slow cook pork, is it should be pretty simple on, and let me show you how. So this is a piece of pork. There we go. And you get the bone and you just, it just, it's like butter. And the reason why you wanna keep the bone in, first of all, it's not gonna come out very easily when you're cooking it, but the bone marrow and the flavor of the bone is going to give it so much more flavor. And you can make tacos, you can make tostones with congri that we're making tonight. And it's gonna be a really good protein style complement to the meal that we're making tonight. And I guess we can call it a Cuban style Tex-Mex twist of cooking with chinchilla. I think that's a good title, right? All right, so let's put this back. That actually cooked on 
low. I actually did boil the water first. I added some paprika, some chili powder, some cumin, some salt, some pepper, very simple, and two bay leaves. And that was for about two pounds of pork ribs, um, which we have here, which I'm gonna fry a little and complement what we're making tonight. So, we are going to shred the pork. I wanna say that was about three ribs. I have a little bit of the onion that I added into it. I did add celery and carrots. So I wanna say this is about um, half a cup of pork, which should suffice for one kind of meal or one dish, one plate, as you can call it. So we're gonna that. change the music because commercials sometimes are fun, but not all the way. So let's turn this on. You don't wanna add your protein onto the pan until the pan is hot. And once you add the protein, you hear the It's just gonna cook it better. You're gonna get a better roasted taste on the outside. And then it's gonna cook in the center, but still not come out like beef jerky. Um, so that's why you wanna heat up the pan before you do that. And let's actually check on our congri. Again, if you are just joining, congri is black beans with white rice. To do a little Tex-Mex little spin-off, I did add Rotel, which is gonna add a little spice to it. And let's check our congri right now. Perfect. So we have our corn oil here, we have our plantains, and we're almost ready to plate. Again, this is a very simple but flavorful dish. So we're gonna add the plantains onto the pan. Well, a little slippery there. I usually don't add spice to this. If you wanna add spice, that's fine, but the plantain has enough spice and natural flavor that you really don't need to add anything else to it other than maybe a pinch of salt, dependent on what you and your family likes um, or your friends, family, it is the holidays. We are gonna have um, some people over. But again, guys, you know, um, my father has been in the hospital for almost eight weeks. This Friday, um, he did contract COVID. So please, as much as you think it's fake, as much as you don't think it's fake or real, please just take precaution. Um, it's not us spreading it. And it's just some people get it and they're more weak immune system wise and so yeah that was a really weird like commercial but yeah uh just be careful we do have um you know family members and fam and friends that we care about so um let's just take precautions on that so i'm going to cut up the lime which is just going to give it a little zest to the entire meal kaylin still god yeah yeah actually yes he is still in the hospital, unfortunately, um, but he is getting better and better every day. So I wanna thank everyone for your prayers, for your positive messages, comments, thoughts, and everything else. Um, and just, you know, be cautious <clears throat> because this is a real thing. This is, COVID is real. All right, so we're gonna cut up the lime, not only for garnish, but a little bit of zest for the meal that we're making today. So we have this warmed up. We're gonna turn that down, add the pork. That's what you wanna hear when you add your meat into the pan. So, a little hot, but that's okay. I know the neighbors would hate me if the alarm goes off, so. There we go. And what you really wanna do is just kinda of brown it up and char it up. It's already cooked, it's already been slow cooked and it has enough juice and fat in it um, that we can char it up and kind of give it that toasty flavor that we want for the protein. Our tostones, AKA plantains are doing really good. We're gonna flip those over. Perfect. Oh, I can smell it already. It smells like my grandma's cooking. Ooh, perfect. 
So what you want to do when you're actually frying things, or like slightly frying things, like tostones or the plantains that we're doing right now, is you want to bring it to a high heat and then bring it down to kind of the middle of a low and medium heat. And then you're going to have your plantains here and you're going to get just a slight kind of toasty fried to where it's you get the toastiness, but it's also kind of tender in the middle. So when you bite into it, if you are a vegetarian or vegan, um, this is a great option because you're still going to get the texture of protein like we are cooking the meat back here. And as you can see, it's kind of toasting. But since I'm not a vegetarian or vegan, I did add some pork. And there you go, that's how we're cooking it. We're gonna just let it sit for a little longer. This looks amazing, it smells so good, oh my gosh. Bill Gates, I know you're doing the vaccine for COVID, but can you hurry up on the smell of vision Because cooking with chinchilla would be so much better if y'all could smell this. So we have our congri, and congri is a Spanish Cuban name for white rice and black beans kind of mixed together. So this is what we're cooking right now on one of the side dishes here, as you can see. We have our fried plantains and our slow cooked pork. And to garnish and give it that little bit of zest is going to be some lime. And we're almost done. I'm so excited for this. It's kind of what we call a quickie. It was a really quick meal, but slowly progressed into cooking it. So, yeah. There we go. Okay, we need to turn this up just a little bit. toastiness that you want to get with the pork so it's slow cooked for about four to five hours and the slow cooker that you see back here added about two cups of water two pounds of pork some um, I did add paprika chili powder salt pepper and two bay leaves very simple then we have our plantains here that are frying perfectly there we go reason this one doesn't want to fry okay then we have our congri and we are almost ready to serve chinchilla this meal will serve about a dozen people for under twenty dollars and if it's just you that's fine or you and a roommate and you or your partner wife husband girlfriend boyfriend whatever it is um, super simple especially now during quarantine and COVID that kind of escaped from me a little bit but cooking with chinchilla is really focused on simple meals very flavorful and very cheap and very simple so we're gonna start and plate this up we have our plate here we have our fried plantains beautiful 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 turn that off a little loud right we have our little slight slow cooked but fried pork 
which we're going to put here on the side. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And we have our congri. which my mom taught me with an ice cream scoop. Super simple, better presentation. So we are gonna get the congri, which is the rice and bean mix with the rotel. Throw it down, beautiful. We have a little bit of Our crema salvadoreña, I don't know if I said that right. All right, we are going to probably sprinkle a little bit over the plantain. Give a little good look, but also some good flavor. Some on the pork, you gotta have some on the pork. Come on. And there we go. Guys, a super simple Tex-Mex slash Cuban dish. First time I've ever made it, actually. Um, we have the congri. We have the fried plantains, which are platanos, uh, platanos fritos in Spanish. And then we have the slow cooked roasted pork that I did overnight for about four hours and kept it on warm. So it's melt in your mouth, buttery protein style. So there you go, guys. Very simple dish. You're going to get about a dozen plates like this for under $20. Again, this is Cooking with Chichilla. Don't forget to follow my YouTube and my Instagram. Um, this will continue on. I feel like this might be one of my last shows for the year, but we will continue back in January. I will keep you guys updated. Oh, wait. And the lime makes it look a little, a little nicer. We'll probably just keep that for, no, okay, now I messed up the whole, we'll just do one. All right, again, don't forget to follow my YouTube, Cooking with Chinchilla, also with Amazon Prime starring in or premiering in January or February, it will be Street Food with Chinchilla, which I am filming now out in the streets of Los Angeles, California, and some outer skirts. Um, but for now, I'm going to take this amazing dish that I just made. Don't forget to share this video. Follow my YouTube. I love you guys. I missed you last week, but we are back, and I will see you in about two weeks. Happy holidays. If I don't, keep me updated. I'll keep you updated, and love you.